Get ready. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh, with Heather Abraham and David Highfield. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. I just feel like tapping my papers. Do it. It's so official of you, David. I know. We're ready to get going it's like, here. It's like the start. You gotta tap your papers to start something. Right. Remember when we started the, doing this show? I do. And, and like in between topics, we were like, well, we need a segue. Like, you know. How do we get in from this and, to that? And so I said, just tap the papers. <laughs> it became a running joke around here because this is what. Well, all right. All right, we're moving on to the next thing. That was it. And now we just say, let's talk about something else. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm we don't even worry about the segue. Let's do something else now. <laughs> hey, in a couple hours from now, Hanukkah starts. Yeah. And this is really exciting. And, and we know that things are going to be a lot different, but people are getting creative to still make sure that families from across the world, from right here in Pittsburgh, can kind of gather together and be together. Yeah, and I love this idea. So we've seen before, like, the Yule Log right. at Christmas time, where, you know, in fact, some TV channels, that's on Christmas Day, that's all they would show. Yeah. They would just broadcast this, you know, Yule Log in a fireplace and have Christmas music. Well, now there's something similar to that going on that we want to let you know about. So the Jewish Federation of Greater Pittsburgh is offering a round-the-clock video throughout Hanukkah, and it will have it's a virtual menorah, and it's going to have the correct number of candles burning until the next one is lit. Uh, and so you can check this out, and it's a way to just sort of stay connected during yeah. the Hanukkah season. And we have a link at our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com, and we wanted to let you know about it because we think that's pretty cool. It is, Denise. And once you're there, too, you'll be able to see that there's some other things happening, other celebrations mm -hmm. that are happening happening to kind of bring people together and and really that's what the holidays are all about. It's about bringing people together, being part of something together. Um, Even though this year is different and we're being, uh, you know, together apart. Right. But you still it's need still to be together. Something. Exactly. It's still something, which is yeah. kind of what we've been going through here on Pittsburgh Today Live. You know, we haven't been able to be together as a family, as a PTL family no. for so long. I mean, right. for nine months now, we haven't, we could have had another baby. You know, and all that time. I'm not having another. No, no, I'm just saying, like, like it's nine months. Do you have to announce, Heather? No. Okay. No. All right. Although some may mistake my quarantine 15 for something else. No, there are oh, no please. announcements oh, to make. Please. But I'm just saying, in that amount of time, people right. have had it's babies. Been, it's been a long time, is it's your point. It's been that yes. long. So, um, yesterday... We were talking about a tradition in your house yeah. and a lot of other people's homes is the elf on the shelf. So an elf pops up at various places and it's kind of the fun of it to see what the elf is going to do next. The elf right. is kind of mischievous. So ever, you know, families who, who have an elf come to visit their home, they know that uh, you name your elf. And mm -hmm. so ours is Alex Sugar and we love Alex Sugar. He usually comes right around Thanksgiving time. And uh, and then he'll go back every night and report back to the North Pole and to Santa to you know let him know what's Whether been going on. Everything in the, house. in the house and everyone's behaving. I will tell you that Alex Sugar somehow got stuck because he didn't move last night, and so he was stuck in the same spot and was in the same spot this morning when the kids woke up and they were like, "Why did Alex not move?" Maybe he took a nap. We thought maybe he got stuck in the garland that he was hanging upside down, for, or maybe he just likes to be upside down. We're not really sure, but mm -hmm. um, yeah. He's still in the same spot as yesterday. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> um, so we, we're discussing this because celebrities have started something kind of fun. It's kind of clever right. on social media, and it's basically their own elf. Right, um, well, because we, we talked yesterday about mensch on a bench, an elf on a shelf. And, and Fauci on the couchy. And Fauci on the couchy. <laughs> so now celebrities are doing this same kind of rhyming thing. So we wanted to show you some of them. Yeah, it's funny. So uh, I, I don't know if it started with Elizabeth Banks, but this is the first one we have, and a lot of people are referencing Elizabeth Banks. So she came up with Hanks on Banks. Tom Hanks is um, her elf. Right. Yeah. All right, and then uh, Reese Witherspoon, who I adore, and I love following her on social media. She has Grease on Reese. Which is perfect. <laughs> I, I, it's perfect. We were just talking about Grease yesterday. We were, yeah. During the commercial break. You yeah. forgot that the open to Grease was a cartoon. A cartoon, and yeah. then so Heather pulled animated. up the open. It was all animated, and she was right. All right, uh, Sterling K. Brown, uh, and he has the cast of The Crown on his shoulder, so it's The Crown <laughs> on Brown. Get it? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then I don't. Who's Sarah Michelle Geller? Who was she from? She played Erica Kane's daughter on All, All My Children. 
And then, then oh. she went on to play like a sorceress vampire show thing. That's Buffy right. Buffy the Vampire that's, Slayer. That's what it was. Okay. That's I, when I saw her name, I was like, who is that? I for, and totally this one takes, takes a second to figure this one out because it's a book. Yeah. And you're like, what? But. And tell me, because I don't oh, you know. You don't know? No. It's bestseller on Geller. Oh, clever. Ah, she she got is it. clever. Yeah. All right, and now for Kerry Washington fans, we have two that involve Kerry Washington. First, Kerry Washington and Katy Perry. So it's Perry on Kerry. Get it? Uh huh. Yeah. And then the next one has to do with the role she played on Scandal, Olivia Pope. So it's Amy Poehler, one of your favorites. I love. Yeah. And she played Leslie Nope. On Parks and Rec. Uh, right. Yeah. So Kerry Washington played Olivia Pope. So it is Pope on Nope. Fantastic. Yeah. So then we These thought. These are so fun. What can we come up with? Yeah. Like, nothing rhymes with David. That's part of the problem. And the only thing that I could think of that rhymed with your name was Feather. And Feather's not a... No, and then you even thought Pleather, which wasn't going to work. <laughs> right, because you had Pleather, pleather on, on last <laughs> week. Yeah. I was like, Pleather on Leather, or on Heather, but it wasn't an elf on it your, you know. It didn't seem the same. So here's what we came up with. First, the one that we came up with for me. So I had to pick Dave... Because that's the only thing that rhymes with Dave. And you know what rhymes with Dave? Dave. So Dave on Dave. <laughs> Dave on Dave. Uh -huh. So this is David Letterman here, uh -huh. my little elf. And so this morning it dawned on me, weather on Heather. That rhymes. It rhymes. So <laughs> there's one. Weather rhyme. on pleather Heather. <laughs> there you go. Right. <laughs> this was the picture of, of Heather in pleather <laughs> that I was going to show. And then you came up with the, the weather thing. Yeah. And I wanted to find a bigger picture of Ron. But this literally was like five minutes till nine yeah. whenever I was doing this on my phone. <laughs> and you were like, well, all I could think of was pleather. So that's, I don't, it's just going to be pleather on Heather. That's what we're going to do. But then we found the picture of Ron and everything's good now. Everything is fine. Ron's watching right now. <laughs> he is, he's, if he's just doing it, he's like, what is going on? <laughs> Why am I on Heather's shoulder? What is happening here? All right, we have a question for you. And oh I don't boy. know if, if you've had this discussion before. I feel like we've had it into my car. Who are the more aggressive drivers? I feel like John Shumway, by the way, who was here right before the show started. Wanted we to weigh in. We should call him back and get him to weigh in because yeah. I think he has some thoughts. Yeah, men or women, who are the more aggressive drivers? Any thoughts here? I, I feel like uh, women are, are safer, but, but Frankie will say because women sometimes, and this is all like very stereotypical and generalizing, yes. okay, so please don't get mad, but because women maybe aren't as aggressive, that they don't just go for it. Like when you have to merge, like you gotta be a little aggressive when you merge. Yeah, I remember right? the first time I was driving in Los Angeles, and I, I was with someone, a friend from college, and I was trying to merge, but I pictured it more like an on-ramp onto the parkway. And she was like, you know, just, just go, you, just you, go. You, you don't get it. You got to keep moving or we don't have a prayer here. Yeah. You, know? you don't so, stop. You just keep on going. Right. <laughs> See, I mean, my frame of reference is a little bit different because it's Gary and me. Yeah. I know that Gary is a more aggressive driver right. than I am. I also think he's a very safe driver. Uh, but he gets angry at the other drivers. Like, yeah. uh, like if I'm on my phone and you, th you think I'm going to like get something done or write an email or something, always there's something that he goes, oh, you know, and yeah. then you have to look up because there's always something happening. Have you ever been embarrassed in the car with Gary? Because I have been embarrassed in the car before with Frankie to the what, point where what? I've actually like ducked my head down. Like, like when, what if they know? What if they watch me on TV? I can't be in the car with you yelling at another driver. They're not going to watch KDKA anymore, so I'll duck my head I down. I do think I remember one time where I did this. Like, like as we drove past somebody. Yeah. I, just, I don't know this guy. He's my Uber Nor driver. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I just happen to be in the front seat with my Uber <laughs> driver, because that's what I do. I'm very friendly like that. Uh, all right, we should actually get to the study. Oh, there Can was we, a study. We, this we, wasn't we, just we us talk. talking about it. <laughs> the results. Triple A did a study. That's why we're talking about this. Mm -hmm. Here's what they found. And, and once again, I want to reiterate what you said about, like, this is generalizing. Generalizing. Because people yeah. are individuals. They yes. cannot be clumped into these groups like this. Yeah. But. But sometimes <laughs> we do that. Right. Triple A has said men are more aggressive than women. It found men are more likely to speed tailgate, mm -hmm. merge dangerously, and honk at other drivers. However, and I thought this was interesting, women admit to some dangerous driving habits of their own, including running red lights. Yikes. Do you run red lights? I run yellow lights sometimes, if it's yeah. safe. 
Well, I mean, but th they're still yellow. Right. Yellow just means caution and slow down. It's about to turn red. I feel like most people, when they see yellow, they start going faster. They're like, I don't want to sit through that light again. <laughs> that was terrible. A minute of my life just sitting like, at that light. I'll never I can't get do that time again. back. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> people do maybe speed up. It also found that younger drivers of both sexes tend to be more aggressive than older drivers. Hmm. And know, that's, and you know what? And that's probably true in general, but I also know there are some very, very safe and cautious young drivers. Right. I was on the Parkway West the other day and I saw a young woman, I maybe mid to late 20s or so, tailgating. It is really uh, one of the most dangerous things that you could do. I mean, really very close to the person in front of, yeah. but everybody kept on moving. I mean, so she was getting her way and she didn't seem mad about it. She just you know, she was like, this is how I this roll. is just how I drive. I just drive until people get out of my way. And I think the, the problem there is that tempers flare right. and then bad things can happen. And then the thing that really when I look that. over and I see somebody, a oh. driver, of course, on their they're phone, on their cell phone. Yeah, I, exactly. That's like you're wondering, why are they driving so weird and all over the place? And they're on their cell phone. Yeah. And you just you, ah, right. it's because that is so super dangerous. Well, it's it's not like you know, someone someone calls you and your phone's over here and you glance down. Okay, you glance down sometimes while you're driving anyways, but it's the right. people who then, I mean, you can literally see them like this. Yeah. On the, I mean, it's it is crazy. so insanely yeah. dangerous. Yeah. yeah. That's not a good thing at all. All right, now that we've talked a lot about that, yeah. uh, <laughs> we want to let you know today is Thursday, uh -huh. which means tomorrow is Friday. Yep. And you know what that means? We're going to tell you that it's the Friday free for all <laughs> tomorrow. We're going to answer as many questions as we can from you, our viewers, and we love you all and uh, post them to our Facebook page, Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page, and we will get to as many as we can tomorrow. And we actually have some really exciting news. Oh. Tomorrow. So many of you have written, called, messaged us about our PTL Facebook mugs, and we are going to have some really exciting news about it tomorrow. Yeah, they're just our PTL mugs, not our PTL Facebook mugs, but yeah. You call them our PTL Facebook mugs. Did I call them that? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. But anyway, there I'm are sorry. PTL it's mugs. Just the mugs. But people ask on <laughs> Facebook about the, about the that's mugs. What, maybe that's yes. what I meant to say. Yes, as far as I know, we're not having a tie in with Facebook. No. But anyway, <laughs> we have a big announcement, and we're going to make the it announcement tomorrow, and it's all about these suckers right mm -hmm. here. Thank you all for everyone who's been patient and waiting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, up next today, here Thursday, we're going to get ready for the weekend. Sean Collier is here with his top picks and what to do around town this weekend. And for some, that includes skiing, of course. Mm -hmm. The slopes are opening this weekend. Coming up, find out about a few changes to keep you safe from COVID this year. And one of the most beautiful scenes of the season at the Carnegie Museum of Art. We're going to get a close up look at this Italian handmade masterpiece, handcrafted masterpiece on display now. Plus, entertaining on a budget, we go shopping to show you how Mikey Hood is on the case. 